Now I'd like to invite uh, Venerable uh, Paraj Janaki. We oui, sorry. <laughs> I will chant, recite the Pali language of Patitya Samupada. Avicha Pateya Sankara Sankara Pateya Vinyanang Vinyana Pateya Namarupang Namarupa Pateya Sarayatanang Sarayatana Pateya Patso Pasa Pateya Vedana Vedana Pateya Tanha Tanha Up Pateya Upadanang Upadana Pateya Pawo Pawa Pateya Chati Chati Pateya Charamaranang Soka Parideva Dukha Domanat Supayasa Sampawanti This is the word of the Buddha from Pali tradition. So from now on, I would not use the word Mahayana or Hinayana, but I would use the word Pali tradition and Sanskrit tradition according to His Holiness Dalai Lama mentioned yesterday the word Mahayana or Hinayana. I don't understand that. Uh, he said that it's wrong. But because of the Westerners or someone else who wrote the books and used this word, not because of us. So he said that in his time, it might be good if we have a, uh, the, the answer together of this word and change it from Mahayana to Sanskrit tradition, Hinayana to uh, Pali tradition. It depends on us, not independent. <laughs> so I will translate a little bit of the, the Pali language I have recited. Dependent on ignorance. Depend, dependent on intentional activities arise. Depend, uh, dependent on consciousness, mental and physical phenomena arise dependent on mental and physical phenomena arise, six senses arise. Six senses, con uh, dependent on six senses, contact arise. Dependent on contact, sensation arise. Dependent on sensation, craving arise. Dependent on Craving, clinging arise. Dependent on clinging, the process of becoming arise. Dependent on process of becoming, birth arise. Dependent on birth, decay arise. Dependent on decay, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and this pair arise. These kind of things of the whole mass of uh, suffering dependent on each other. So the word we should have discussion in detail is avicca or ignorance not the, the, the other words, because 
everything started from, from the word ignorance or avicca. What do you mean? What do you understand the meaning of avicca? In my opinion, in my opinion, I would think before the universe starts, the time starts. We know that in scientific reason of phenomena, the Big Bang, there is the Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, the black hole, the black hole and the Big Bang, after the Big Bang, yet the universe appear, the sun and our earth now today. I would compare the black hole like avicca or ignorance. Avicca and ignorance compared to, to uh, black hole. It's a darkness at the edge of darkness. We don't know. Like we're swimming in the black, in the cave where, uh, in, in, the, in the cave and, and, and in the darkness, we don't know where to go. We don't know what we're doing now. We cannot see even the seashore, the bank of the river or the bank of the sea, we cannot see. So, a sea, the sea of suffering, we're swimming on the sea of suffering, birth and then decay, and then death, and then reborn again, again and again, again and again. The sea of suffering, this is why the Buddha said that we have the path, the noble effort path to exit, to exit, to go away from the sea of suffering. Swim across the sea of suffering to cross the other bank of river we call Nirvana or Nibbana. Nibbana. So, the important words, essential words, is ignorance. How do we give the, the definition of ignorance? If we don't understand what ignorance is, we would not understand anything in the Dhamma. The Buddha said that, He who see the Dhamma, see the Buddha. He who sees the Buddha, see the Dhamma. And then he said that, he who see the Patitya independent, a dependent origination, see the Dhamma. It means Patitya Samuppada is very, very essential Dhamma, Buddha Dhamma of, of the Buddha. If we understand this, it would take away ignorance. Ignorance, what is dependent origination. I would compare like Universe, universe, we got the sun. The sun has the light. Vicha, vicha, black hole, a vicha. And the light, the sun, got the light. When the sun rising in the early morning, it gives us the light. Why the earth we living now give us life? The light and life living together without light, without life, 
we cannot live on this earth. We are dependent on each other. Never be alone. Sun and earth, sun and light, earth and light of animals, of human beings, of everything on this earth. So this one is very important to, to, to think about. In dependent origination, do you think it's, it's true there is dependent origination? Because in this world, we try to be independent. We don't want any countries to occupy any country. We don't want it. The Buddha said that we are not independent because of defilements. So dependent means vimuti. Vimuti means freedom. Independent from defilements. Defilements. For example, lust, hatred, anger. If you are if you are free from that, you are free from that. You are independent. Independent from defilements, all kind of things, independent. But for for society, we need to live together to see that how humanity live together, helping each other. Even though we try to be independent, but at the same time, we need help. We cannot live alone. Even from Thailand to come here, I have to rely on money, aeroplane, ticket, and food and accommodation here. I cannot build my own temple. I have to rely on someone who prepare for me. That it means dependent on each other. Physically, mentally, Mentally, everyone would say that we practice meditation to get rid of bad emotion. For example, emotion very badly destroy our mind, make us feel very suffering, very suffer, very suffer every day, every morning. Especially someone told me that before he get married, he feel very happy, very, very happy. So he get the word, he's very happy. And then he enter, entered monkhood and for 20 years. Oh, he's very happy very independent. After that, because of he become senior monk, he was entitled as abbot and look after 100 monks and 100 nuns. He said that, oh, life, my life now, even worse than marriage. <laughs> Even worse than married, <laughs> because he has to look after women, <laughs> he has to look after men, because everyone come to him, everyone come to him and complain each other, complain each other. <laughs> they don't understand anything. 
So you have even worse. You have two minutes okay. to conclude. Uh, okay. So I I would say I would give the meaning of dependent origination uh, that it gives the meaning of cause and effect. Cause and effect. And also it, it gives the meaning of scientific reason. The third, it gave the meaning of impermanence in itself, impermanence, and atta, anatta in itself. Because you get rid of the emotion. You cannot see emotion without the feeling of physical manners. That's why I think dependent origination is a very important word. One word, try to find out what is the meaning of avicca or ignorance. So I, was, I will finish my talk with my poem uh, I wrote to the public. And I gave, I gave it to, I presented it to, to His Holiness the Dalai Lama yesterday. <clears throat> All kind of things are interdependence. Body and mind, earth, water, and skies, hence, are called being and alike. Flowers, insects, and bees are living in cycles, as sweet as you could see, from bees frying in cycles. Fishes the well in the pond, and tigers in the caves. In the river, there are swans. We teachers, students are safe. Academics and scholars, learning to manifest, like elephants in herd and offer, roaming in the forest. Citizens and states should be in protection and care. Take breath and no suffocate in the rules of fair. Tree's tongue stands by the roots, anger faded by awareness. Men's strength are from their foots, united by togetherness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Venerable. Venerable had started uh, to say, uh, as His Holiness uh, suggested, you know, to uh, how to label the two traditions. He preferred to use, you know, the Sanskrit tradition and the Pali tradition rather than Mahayana or Hinayana, and I think that's a really important suggestion, and we should try to learn that uh, the usage of the terms and. Uh, then he uh, started to talk his own topic. His topic is on dependent origination. And uh, uh, he translated briefly you know, the, from the Pali into uh, English, you know, the dependent on uh, ignorance, then the next dependent origination, like you know, action and so forth, start. And also he compared briefly on the uh, Big Bang and the black hole, and uh, he compared the black hole is like the, uh, the what you call the ignorance is like the black hole. You know, the, uh, while we are, you know, uh, our mental state is, you know, covered by the ignorance, then we are very difficult to see what we are seeing, what we are understanding. Similar to the while we're in the dark, we won't see the things, what's inside there. And uh, also he briefly touched on a very important uh, statement, saying those who see the Dharma, they will see the Buddha. Those who see the Buddha, they will see the dependent origination, and so forth. That quotation is very, very important quotation. It is also in the common in the Sanskrit tradition, uh, too. Then he briefly uh, said, you know, how to come out from that darkness and that is the uh, practicing the Noble Eightfold Path, and uh, that's also a very important message for us to 
uh, remember, and then he carry on, uh, give us a very nice analogies, like the universe, within the universe, there's sun and moon and earth, they all are dependent on uh, Earth. Whatever is happening in the Earth, they are depending on, dependent on the, in the light and so forth. Similar to that, us to survive and you know, stay in calm and peace, we all are sub, uh, dependent on each other. You know, the, uh, one person's peace and happiness is dependent on the other people's and so forth. And, uh, Although we try to you know, be in terms of the country, we try to become an independent country and stay in that way, but in reality, we all are dependent on each other, and uh, that understanding is important. And uh, he also uh, very nicely stayed, you know, explained you know, that at this stage, we are very much dependent on the you know, afflictions such as hatred, anger, and so forth, and it is important to be free from those afflictions. If you are free from those afflictions, uh, you know, we are in a better state and so forth. And the last, uh, he gave a nice story about a man, you know, the first getting married and happiness, then divorcing, divorce from his <laughs> wife, then happiness, eventually getting, you know, becoming monk, very happy. And after when he got senior position as an abbot, lots of miseries, lots of troubles, and uh, that, that's quite interesting in my position too. So, <laughs> thank you very much, Venerable. Thank you so much. I will, I would like to say Venerable who live next of uh, the Yeah. Uh, the left. This? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. You have a question. So, Venerable said it's very important to realize and definition of ignorant. Ignorance, ignorance yeah. yes. But you didn't explain that. So I would like to say what is definition of ignorance? A point of view. Very difficult to explain how to get away from ignorance because I'm in darkness myself. <laughs> still, still swim. Still swimming in the the large sea myself at the moment because I think I'm doing paramita, the ten perfections. One day I will get across the river or the sea. But the Buddha said that if we try, if we try with the Three Ratana, three Ratana means the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha take refuge, refuge to Triple Gem, the first. And the second, three, Shiksha, Trisikha, Sila, Samadhi, and Panya. Morality, as a monk, we got the Vinaya, as a lay people, we, we got the morality or sila, and we practice meditation until we attain jhana, attain jhana, piti, sukha, ekakata, and then we practice wisdom or panya until we attain nibbana or enlightenment that we will get away ignorance or which are like we turn on the light in the dark room. You have to turn on the light in the dark room. For example, in this room, we can see each other because the light, which are, the light is the which are. If we turn off the, the, the light, this room will become darkness. Darkness, we couldn't see anything. Couldn't see anything. So we have to gain the perfections like we practice at the moment. 
This is the, my answer. I'm not can, sure. Uh, Venerable, can you briefly define, this is the abbot's main question, can you really briefly define what is ignorance? Just not seeing what's in this room. Yes, yeah, I agree, it is type of ignorance, but we are not talking about that type of ignorance yeah. in the 12 links of dependent origination. Yes. So how can you define that first, first link, which is ignorance? Okay, ignorance, according to the Buddha's uh, words, it means ignorance or we don't know the, 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 the cause of suffering. We don't know the result of suffering. We don't know how to extinguish and we don't know the earthward path. We don't know. So four kind of factors how to understand the ignorance and get away from from it. Thank you. My question is to Praraj. The, when we are in the monastery, when we study about the 12 links of dependent origination, the karma, we use the painting, the Bhava Chakra, uh, the, the, wheel, the painting, the, the Bhava Chakra, the wheel of circle of life and death. So I'm just wondering, when you, the, in your tradition, do you use the Bhava Chakra when you teach the 12 links of dependent origination and the karma? Three yes, poisons. Yes. Yeah. Very, very important uh, painting. I actually didn't study the, the 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 painting much, but I do understand that its realms uh, in the teachings of, of the Buddha from uh, Niriyaka, hell, and animal, and human beings, and Deva, and Brahma, and the realm. And then, uh, for human beings' realm, is a good, good realm to practice perfections, to get away from from uh, ignorance. But in in Patitya in 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 Thailand, we study as uh, uh, related to to Abhidhamma too. Uh, Abhidhamma too, and some kind of uh, some some temples study as uh, philosophy, because uh, for, for example, Buddha Dasa, Buddha Dasa in the south of Thailand, in Pali tradition, he study Patichasmupada. Now, not not uh, for this life and the next life. Also now, Patichasmupada for now, and Nibbana today, now and here. Thank you. Thank you. OK, now I'll go to the floor. Here. Yes. Oh, sorry. Just one minute. I'll take uh, My name is uh, Panjansiri from England. I was the Banda speaker yesterday. Uh, today, I have two questions. Uh, one question to ask to one is from Tibetan as a Moderator and also Than Jokun about the the idea, which is the he, uh, his holiness uh, Dalai Lama mentioned about the new school or the idea of how we can put it in practice, if you like, how we can change the word that he not really happy to use, Mahayana or Hinayana. He really want to use the Pali tradition, Sanskrit tradition. And he said he would like to see it happen in his lifetime. He said that. 
uh, over lunch. So I would like to to ask Tanjakun Prarat Varagavi and also the chair of the moderator, how can you put it in the possibility to be seen or to be shown to be in, in to the world to recognize this because it's quite important for all of us to make it possible at the history that we work it today here. So I just ask you to to make it clear how can it happen. Thank mm. you. I think as already uh, Venerable had you know, uh, explained and uh, I think this kind of gathering this kind of gathering is the one way to how to spread this tradition mm -hmm. instead of using those two terminologies, mm -hmm. but to use uh, uh, Pali tradition mm -hmm. and Sanskrit tradition. Bit, bit by bit. Yeah, uh, also in yeah, the yeah. writings when people write, yeah. uh, you know, the texts, Buddhist texts, yeah, sure. uh, instead of using the Mahayana, all those other terminology. And uh, instead of that, using Sanskrit traditions and Pali tradition, I think it is the this this terminology, these terms to become like a universal or the you know the everybody accepted, everybody used that. It takes a little bit time, mm. so it's already started. I I, I I noticed very clearly His Holiness Dalai Lama all the time for many years. He keep using Sanskrit tradition and Pali tradition instead of Inayana and Mayana. I've noticed that many years ago. And this is not first time no. he said that here. Mm -hmm. He had said this before. And also I've noticed uh, some writers, when they write books, mm -hmm. they use these terms, Pali traditions and the Sanskrit traditions. Yeah. I think, you know, it is the raising the awareness. What, what are the benefits using this kind of terminology, the, you know, the Pali traditions, and the Sanskrit traditions, and what are the disadvantages using the other 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 terms, and that I think that's the only way which we can't make any law or rule or no, anything no. like that. The best way is to, to raise the awareness, yeah. the benefits and the disadvantages of using the, you know, the what used to use, and that's what I can see. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I agree with the, the moderator to give a good answer and good result, good, good reason to, to the public. Because yesterday I had uh, lunch in the same table, same room with the Lama, and then we have an uh, interview uh, and recorded his will on, on Buddhism, we asked him about uh, two questions. It's normal questions. But the answer, he kept saying that, he, he said that the word, the, the, the Pahayana or Theravada or Hinayana is kind of someone superior than someone, something. <laughs> He feel my he himself is a very humble. His holiness very humble, and we f he feel that uh, this time should have some conclusion or agreement agreement to use Pali tradition and uh, Sanskrit tradition in in writing uh, in some uh, academic works. So it, it takes some time, I think, for, for many, many years or even period of, of, of decades to get familiar to the public to use this word because the word Mahayana or Hinayana, it, it has been using for uh, over 100 years mm -hmm. by who? I don't know <laughs> myself because uh, my age is that. Uh, 56 years old, only, only. So I think it could be a tradition for us uh, to use together as 
His Holiness the Lama uh, said that. Thank you.